The Radeon RX 9000 series GPUs have been leaked online, along with some early performance details for both regular graphics and ray tracing. This large leak was shared by the X user all the was who has previously provided accurate leaks for both rdx and radeon products for those who don't know the radeon rx 9000 series will use the rdna 4 architecture which is the next generation after the rdna 3 architecture that was released in 2022 according to the leak details amd has decided to skip the radeon rx 8000 series and go directly to the 9000 series. Based on the leaks, it looks like AMD will have four types of graphics cards. However, we don't know the exact models for each series yet, except for the top ones, which are reportedly the AMD Radeon RX 9070 and 9070 XT. All the watts also mentioned that the RX 9070 will use the Navi 48 chip while the RX 9070 XT will use the Navi 44 chip. Another X user HXL9550 Pro shared a leak from the chip hell forums. It suggests that the TDP for the reference model could be around 260 watts, while the custom or overclocked versions could go up to 330 watts. All the watts also suggested that the current GPUs like the Radeon RX 7600 series and Radeon RX 7700 XT might be rebranded. They say these could be renamed the Radeon RX 7650 and 7750. According to all the watts, the AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT will not be faster than the Radeon RX 7900 XT in performance, but it will be a little faster than the Radeon RX 9700 GRE. The leaker also shared the Time Spy benchmark score of the new Radeon RX 9070 XT to support their claims. The leak time spy score of the Radeon RX 9070 XT suggests that it is indeed slightly faster than both the Radeon RX 7900 GRE and the NVIDIA RX 4070 Ti. However, it may be noticeably slower than the RX 7900 XT model. It's also important to note that this score comes from an early benchmark and the final performance could be better when the card is officially released. All the watts also share the Port Royal score for the RX 9070 XT, which measures ray tracing performance. The GPU scored 14,723 points, making it 19% faster than the Radeon RX 7900 GRE. The ray tracing performance is now much closer to the NVIDIA RDX 4070 Ti, but the RDX 4070 Ti is still 7% faster. According to all the watts, GPUs based on the Navi 48 architecture like the Radeon RX 9070 XT might be priced between $450 and $650. Meanwhile, the lower end Navi 44 based graphics cards such as the Radeon RX 9060 series could be priced between $180 and $350. So what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below and also don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon.